there's enough coke residue on this knife to get very, very high. This is it? After Rome and Moscow, I was expecting something a little more... upscale. Maybe you should unwind after the flight. Maybe take a shower. That might be more tempting if you were here. That might have to wait until we aren't fugitives from our own government. A man can dream, though. A man can dream. Roses to my dead drop in Prague. Now that you've made it to Taipei, what are your plans? I sort of figured I'd improvise. I'll put an ear to the ground and see what I can find out. Don't you think you need a little more focus than that? I've got three leads to start with. This Stephen Heck guy seems like he knows what's going on in Taipei. He might be able to answer some questions. Be careful, Mike. I've checked my databanks, and I can't find any evidence that Stephen Heck has ever worked for the CIA. I'll be on my guard. There's also that anomalous data trail from Shahid's system. Any luck tracing it down? I managed to follow it back to a place in the warehouse district. I'm forwarding the address to you now. What's the final lead? Simple. Follow the money. Shahid was funneling large amounts of money to a front corporation for the White Oak Mountain Triad. I think I can persuade them to tell me why. Sounds like you've got everything figured out. Isn't that why you love me? You watch yourself out there, Mr. Thornton. Always. See the Red Lion. I'm a friend of the Sheik. Long sure. My name is Michael Thornton. I think you have information I need. I know many things. Most of them would be useful to someone, I'm sure. What is it you want from me, Mr. Thornton? I have no interest in bantering with an American coward. It upsets my digestion. Please, get to the point. Someone is planning to assassinate Ronald's son. You've been receiving transfers of funds from Shahid. 
I'd be willing to pay to see if these two facts are connected. Hmm, interesting. I admire a man who presents a business proposal clearly and succinctly. Mr. Thornton, a man in my position does not get to be a man in my position without knowing the value of a good trade. I can understand that. I suppose the question is what you need. Some of my lieutenants seem to think they would do better without my loving guidance and gentle hand. They have set up shop in a disreputable part of town. Now, if you were to discourage them, I will tell you what I know. You don't even know me. Why trust me with something like this? Why not use your own people? My own people are known to these rogues. You, on the other hand, look enough like an ignorant white old tourist that they might only mug you. Well, when you put it that way, it's hard to argue. All right, Mr. Hahn. I knew you would see the wisdom of this deal, Mr. Thornton. Uh, contact me again when my wayward children have been dealt with, huh? Oh, and Mr. Thornton. Yeah? Don't call me Mr. Hong. syndicate not telling the truth? Gee, that's a stretch. Stretch or not, it looks like you're going to see some heavier resistance up ahead. Interesting. What is? I just found a ten-page list of Triad members. How There's does something that help? Over I think it may be a list of all the defectors. You said ten pages? How many defectors are there? A hell of a lot more than Hong sure told us about. You better watch yourself, Mike. There's no telling what else he forgot to tell us about. My thoughts exactly.
friendly neighborhood triads have been dealing with Al Samad. You're kidding. Why would they be working together? Any details of the arrangement? No, just some ledgers detailing various transactions. This can't be good. Wait, there's a note attached to one of the ledgers. Apparently these defectors weren't happy with the arrangement, but money had nothing to do with it. All right, Mike. Keep looking. There has to be more to this. What's happening to Yi Huang? He started pulling guard duty today. Guard duty? Why would they?
this. Well, it's official. Red lion, my ass. More like red liar. I hope you're sitting down for this. What's one of the benefits of a desk job? According to this series of emails, the defectors aren't the one who killed Hong Shir's second in command. The big man did it himself. Why would he do that? The guy had the audacity to openly. I found controls for the sluice gates. Should provide for an interesting approach. That's quite an example. I'll upload the intel to you. This might be useful later. Got it. Exactly how many diseases can I get from walking in this? Don't be such a baby. You'll be fine. After you get your shots. And a full course of antibiotics. And a month in the quarantine room. They left that part out of the recruitment brochures. is already humming with talk of your assault on the slums. Everything's taken care of. But next time, tell me your lieutenant's defected because you killed one of them as a warning. I did not feel you needed to know this, Mr. Thornton. Nor do my men. I trust I can rely on your discretion. Shahid was sending you large sums of money. What was it for? A man in my position has access to certain materials, Mr. Thornton. Materials that a man in Shahid's position finds very valuable. We had a long-standing business arrangement. You've already got the international smuggling contacts. You could secure shipments to just about anywhere an Al-Samad cell operates. Very astute, Mr. Thornton. You would do very well in this business. I did not sell weapons to Shahid directly. I was merely a facilitator. 
And how does that put you in a position to know about an attempt on Sun's life? I'm willing to provide my information, not my sources. Fair enough. Let's see it. As promised, Mr. Thornton. Here is all the information I have regarding this unfortunate business with Mr. Sun. A pleasure doing business with you. And with you, Mr. Thornton. Oh, there is one other thing. Beware of the man called Omen Dang. Omen Dang? Who's he? I'm afraid no one really knows. He is a powerful man in Taipei. And I have heard his name mentioned along with the rumors of this assassination. I'll keep my ears open. Thanks. I'm sending you the data I got from Hong Shu now. Receiving. Got it. Anything? According to this, the White Oak Mountain Triad was approached to provide security for a diplomatic exchange at a subway station on the Xingmei Line tomorrow night. Nobody hires Triad gangsters to provide security for a diplomatic exchange. Any hint what was really going on? Hong Shu's lieutenants dug into the guy's background. Turns out, he was an NSV deep cover operative. After some persuasion, he let slip that he was working undercover to foil a major political assassination. Persuasion? Do I want to know? You really don't. That gives us a time and a place. Think it's enough to go on? Xingmei Station is pretty big. You could wander around for an hour and not find the exchange. You'll need to identify the package being handed off. If you can find a way to track it, even better. I'll see what I can dig up. I'll be in touch. Okay. Good luck, Mike. <laughs>